Hello and welcome to my channel, where I review and analyze the latest movies and TV shows. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most exciting scenes from Monarch Legacy of Monsters, the new 2023 sci-fi thriller that follows the aftermath of Godzilla's battle with the Titans. The scene I'm referring to is the Frost Vark Attacks helicopter scene, which you can watch in 4K quality by clicking on the link in the description below. In this video, I will break down the scene and explain its significance for the plot and the characters. Let's get started. The scene takes place near the beginning of the movie, when a team of monarch agents led by Dr. Emma Russell, a cryptozoologist and paleobiologist, are on a mission to investigate a mysterious signal coming from Antarctica. They fly over a frozen landscape, where they spot a huge crater that leads to a hidden underground facility. As they approach the crater, they are suddenly attacked by a massive creature that emerges from the ice. This creature is Frostvark, one of the original titans that ruled the Earth before the rise of humanity. Frostvark is a colossal, four-legged beast with a long tail, a horned head, and a mouth full of razor-sharp teeth. It has the ability to manipulate ice and snow, creating powerful blasts and storms that can freeze anything in its path. Frostvark is not happy to see the intruders, and it unleashes its fury on the helicopter, trying to bring it down. The scene is a thrilling and tense sequence that showcases the incredible visual effects and sound design of the movie. The audience can feel the danger and the adrenaline as the helicopter dodges Frostvark's attacks, while the characters react with fear and awe. The scene also establishes Frostvark as a formidable antagonist and sets up the main conflict of the movie. The discovery of a secret project that could unleash a new wave of titans and threaten the balance of the world. The scene has several important implications for the story and the characters. First, it introduces Frostvark as one of the main villains of the movie and reveals its connection to the mysterious signal that Monarch is investigating. The signal is actually a code that activates a device called the Orca, which can communicate with and control the titans. The Orca was created by Dr. Russell and her ex-husband Mark, a former Monarch employee and wildlife photographer who lost their son Andrew in the 2014 Godzilla attack. Dr. Russell believes that the Orca can be used to restore the natural order and coexistence between humans and Titans, while Mark blames the Titans for his son's death and wants to destroy them. The scene shows that Dr. Russell has secretly stolen the Orca and is planning to use it to awaken Frostvark and other dormant Titans around the world, hoping to create a new era of harmony. However, her plan backfires as Frostvark and the other Titans are not as benevolent as she thinks and instead cause chaos and destruction wherever they go. Second, the scene foreshadows the role of Frostvark in the climax of the movie, where it faces off against Godzilla and King Kong, the two alpha Titans that are destined to fight for the supremacy of the Earth. Frostvark is a rival to both Godzilla and Kong as it represents a different branch of the Titan evolution and it seeks to overthrow them and claim the throne. Frostvark is also a threat to humanity, as it has no regard for human life and civilization, and it wants to turn the world into a frozen wasteland. The scene shows that Frostvark is a powerful and dangerous enemy, and that it will take the combined efforts of Godzilla, Kong, and the human heroes to stop it. Third, the scene develops the characters of Dr. Russell and Mark, and their relationship with each other and their daughter Madison who is also a monarch agent and a key ally of Godzilla and Kong. The scene shows that Dr. Russell is a brilliant but misguided scientist who is driven by her grief and guilt over her son's death and her idealism and passion for the Titans. She is willing to risk everything, including her own life and the lives of her colleagues and family, to achieve her vision of a better world. However, she is also naive and arrogant as she underestimates the dangers and consequences of her actions and she ignores the warnings and advice of Mark and Madison, who try to stop her and reason with her. The scene also shows that Mark is a brave and resourceful man who has a deep love and respect for nature and wildlife, but also a hatred and fear of the Titans. He is determined to protect his daughter and the world from the threat of Frostvark and the other Titans, and he is willing to work with Godzilla and Kong, despite his past trauma and resentment. He is also conflicted and hurt by his ex-wife's betrayal, and he hopes to save her from her own madness and redeem their relationship. The Frostvark Attacks helicopter scene is one of the most memorable and exciting scenes from Monarch Legacy of Monsters, a movie that delivers on its promise of epic monster action and drama. The scene introduces Frostvark as a formidable villain 
sets up the main plot and conflict of the movie, and develops the characters and their motivations. The scene is a masterclass of filmmaking, with stunning visuals, sound, and editing that immerses the audience in the world of the Titans and the Monarch. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you think of the scene and the movie in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.